As the trailblazer of the hybrid revolution, Toyota is no stranger to disrupting the automotive world, and now they're gearing up to do it again. Toyota's CEO has revealed that the company has developed an engine so groundbreaking it could upend the entire electric vehicle market. This isn't just another tweak to the traditional engine, it's a revolutionary leap that could transform the future of automotive power. Curious? You should be. Join us as we delve into Toyota's closely guarded secret and uncover the truth about this game-changing technology that the media isn't fully revealing, Toyota's audacious vision to redefine the auto industry. Hey, if you are enjoying this so far, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Toyota's latest push into sustainable transportation marks a bold departure from the industry's current obsession with fully electric vehicles, EVs. While giants like China and the USA continue to dominate the EV race, Toyota is taking a distinctive path, focusing on a diverse range of mobility options. This forward-thinking strategy was showcased in an in-depth presentation by Hiroki Nakajima, Toyota's executive vice president and chief technology officer, during a recent technical briefing in Japan. Toyota's vision as shared by Nakajima, is to transform into a mobility company rather than just an automobile manufacturer. Moreover, Toyota is not working in isolation. The briefing revealed collaborations with key figures like Takadu, who leads the development of electric vehicles, and Mitsumasa Yamagata, who oversees the hydrogen car division. These partnerships within Toyota emphasize a comprehensive approach to future mobility solutions that cater to diverse market needs and environmental goals. Transforming into a mobility company entails offering various commuting options that adapt to differing global needs and environments. Central to this strategy is the development of a revolutionary hydrogen combustion engine. Unlike the traditional hydrogen fuel cells used by other manufacturers, which generate electricity to power an electric motor, Toyota's engine burns hydrogen directly, in a manner similar to how traditional internal combustion engines burn gasoline. This technology is poised to redefine the industry's approach to zero-emission vehicles. Toyota's hydrogen engine is designed to produce only water vapor as its exhaust, thus eliminating carbon emissions entirely. This aligns with global efforts to reduce the carbon footprint and showcases Toyota's commitment to environmental sustainability. Additionally, Toyota's focus on hydrogen highlights the company's belief in the potential for hydrogen as a versatile and efficient fuel source, especially given its high energy content per unit mass and the relative ease of sourcing it from a variety of processes. Every year, millions of tons of hydrogen are safely produced and utilized in various industries. It powers buildings, electric vehicles, forklifts, ships, and even trains, showing that not all engines need gasoline to function. Enter Toyota's groundbreaking hydrogen combustion engine, which is set to revolutionize the way we think about car engines. At the heart of this innovation is the Toyota Corolla Cross H2 concept car, equipped with a 1.6L turbocharged three-cylinder engine that runs exclusively on hydrogen. How did Toyota bring this vision to life? The shift began when Toyota decided to rethink the entire electric vehicle EV, market. This new engine, relying on hydrogen promises a transformation so profound that the EV industry would never be the same. To safely contain the highly flammable hydrogen, Toyota incorporated robust armored fuel tanks into the design, a concept derived from their hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle, FCEV, the Mirai. Despite its powerful capabilities, the Corolla Cross H2 concept is surprisingly efficient, requiring only 5 kilograms of hydrogen to cover approximately 300 miles. But what happens after the hydrogen is consumed? The vehicle produces only 50L of water as a byproduct, which poses no harm to the environment, unlike carbon dioxide emissions. Enhancing the appeal, Toyota collaborated with Yamaha Motor to develop a V8 engine powered entirely by hydrogen. This potent engine generates about 455 horsepower and 398 lbft of torque. To top it off, they've added an 8 colon 1 top mounted exhaust manifold which not only enhances performance but also creates a distinct high-frequency sound, setting this engine apart in both function and style. When stacked against traditional electric vehicles, Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine emerges as a powerhouse with compelling advantages. Notably, it boasts a significantly longer range and the ability to refuel as quickly as filling up a tank of gas, think the speed of a pit stop. From Sri Lanka brought an eye-catching claim into the spotlight. He asserted that his car could travel approximately 300 kilometers, which is roughly 190 miles, using only 3 liters of water. 
The technology behind this incredible feat is like the others, it involves splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen through a process known as electrolysis and then using these gases to power the engine. The potential of this water-fueled vehicle did not go unnoticed. Sri Lanka's Prime Minister, Ratna Siri Wickramanek, was impressed. After witnessing the technology firsthand, he extended the government's full support for Thushra's endeavors to launch this water-powered car in the Sri Lankan market. However, the story took a dramatic turn just a few months later. Thushara found himself entangled in legal troubles, arrested on suspicion of investment fraud. On the other side of the world, another inventor made waves with a similar concept. Since 1969, Daniel Dingle from the Philippines claimed to have developed a technology that allows cars to run on water. Fast forward to 2000, Dingle partnered with Foza Plastics Group to advance this technology. However, in 2008, the partnership soured as Foza Plastics accused Dingle of fraud. The legal battle concluded with Daniel Dingle, then 82 years old, being sentenced to 20 years in prison. Another instance occurred in December 2011 when Golam Sarwar, a name not widely known until then, announced that he had invented a car that could run on water. Initially, this vehicle used a mix of 60% water and 40% diesel or other fuel types. However, Sarwar didn't stop there. He ambitiously aimed to modify the car to run solely on water by the end of June 2012. One of the most striking aspects of his claim was that the car would emit only oxygen, a significant contrast to the typical carbon emissions from conventional cars. However, Ahmed's invention sparked controversy. Some Pakistani scientists quickly criticized his claims, stating that his water-fueled car was impossible and violated fundamental laws of thermodynamics. They labeled his invention as fraudulent. The last claim for today was made by Ariant Omel, an Indonesian inventor. In May 2022, he introduced NCBA, a device he developed that purportedly converts water into hydrogen, which could then be used as fuel for motorcycles. Arianto asserted that his invention was highly efficient, needing just one liter of water to travel 500 kilometers. By July 2023, Arianto's claims escalated in prominence. He announced that prestigious Italian automobile manufacturers, including Lamborghini, Ducati, and Ferrari, showed interest in his invention, NCBA. His confidence in the device's potential was evident as he expressed his willingness to sell the technology to foreign companies for 15 billion rupiah. Despite his ambitious plans, Arianto voiced a strong disinterest in support from the Indonesian government and the National Research and Innovation Agency, claiming they had destroyed him. However, the scientific community in Indonesia, specifically experts from the National Research and Innovation Agency, expressed skepticism about Arianto's invention. They deemed the device theoretically impossible, citing fundamental principles of physics. Additionally, contrary to Arianto's assertions, these scientists clarified that there was no interest from the mentioned Italian automobile manufacturers in the NCBA. They revealed that Arianto was actually invited by their partners rather than the manufacturers themselves. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.